hi everybody. It is December 22nd, 2018. I want to thank my subscriber for sending along this article. In Fanrix Hexa vaccine found to contain 65 unknown to science compounds. This Italian research firm found that this vaccine, which is intended to protect against diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, uh, a hemophilus influenza, a flu that apparently children under the age of five are at risk of getting, um, did I say polio, hepatitis B. One vaccine protects against all of that. That in itself should really raise people's eyebrows and they say to themselves, Maybe we shouldn't get just this vaccine that's protecting against all of those uh, diseases. Um, maybe that's kind of toxic and it's not going to really, oh, uh, make us feel very good. I don't know. Um, well, you know what? What my subscriber wrote in the email when she sent me this link to this article that you know, it's shocking to the core, um, and then wrote that there's no safety testing on vaccines. Um, I've been posting for years on how dangerous these vaccines are, and posted just recently, again, uh, that the CDC does not do any safety testing. Their safety test is you. They collect their safety data after the vaccine is put on the market and what doctors are inputting in their computer and hospitals are inputting in their computer and the vaccine adverse effect reporting system on the, the CDC's website the VAERS reporting system, that's where they collect their data. Have you been harmed by that vaccine? Well, if you report it, if you go to the hospital, if you go to your doctor, that's when they know. I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked to the core. It's, you know, we have been for actually many years uh, coming across all these unknowns. Human skin harbors completely unknown bacteria. This was 2007. Unknown bacteria out of 182 species of bacteria, 8% were unknown species that had never before been described or, let's see, this one, 2016. Researchers discover previously unknown bacterial species in dolphins. U.S. Navy's Marine Mammal Program in San Diego have discovered a startling variety of newly recognized bacteria living inside the trained dolphins that they use to find submerged sea mines and detect underwater intruders. They found similar types of bacteria in wild dolphins as well. About three quarters of the bacterial species we found in the dolphins' mouths are completely new to us. Unknown bacteria represent whole new realms of life. So when I come across unknown, not in our database, unknown to science, doesn't shock me. What shocks me is how many people don't care. What shocks me is that parents are still, you know, going off to their child's doctor, kid in tow, putting them right up on that, you know, uh, that bench that patients sit on in a doctor's office and they allow their kids to be injected with these poisonous vaccines. This has been ongoing for decades. More and more children are dying 
More and more children are having their immune systems destroyed. More and more children are harmed by vaccines. But we've got these people who won't listen. They call us anti-vaxxers. And at this point, these people have blood on their hands. Sorry if you have uh, an adult uh, child who had uh, your grandchild and they vaccinated and now that grandchild is dead or autistic or uh, I it is shocking to me that parents are not doing their job and protecting their children when so much information is out and about. Um, so this Italian firm uh, did an investigation of this particular vaccine uh, in Fanrix and they found that the antigens for the diseases that this vaccine is supposed to protect against aren't there. <laughs> Not there. But what they found was chemical contamination from the manufacturing process or cross-contamination with other manufacturing lines, chemical toxins, bacterial peptide toxins, insoluble and indigestible macro molecule that reacts to the protein assay but cannot be recognized by any protein database. Vaccines, bio warfare, that's what they are. This is bio warfare that they came across uh, compounds that they have not recognized, unknown uh, to science, not in a database. Could it have come from a bio lab? Absolutely. You know, as I was reading this, you know, I thought <laughs> to myself, all right. Um, we have all of these unknowns, right? These mysteries, these unknown bacteria never seen before, never described before, uh, whole new realms of life. And now we have this Italian research firm coming out saying, unknown chemical structure. Don't know what it is. We've got that alien, you know, uh, agenda. Will they pull it off? And this, and I'm sorry, I do not think it's so outlandish for me to question the research firm. Are they just coming up and doing this because they're going to actually do that uh, uh, alien, you know, uh, invasion scenario? You know, they're going to claim that these, these uh, chemical structures, these bacteria, these unknowns that are new realms of life are coming from another planet. It's part of the alien invasion. Uh, who the hell knows? We're living an insane time with incredibly evil people at the helm uh, implementing all of these agendas. And what is, you know, I've been shell shocked for years. I've not been able to get out of that shell shock. I'm just shell shocked by how people respond, behave. Um, I'm not shocked by GlaxoSmithKline putting out this vaccine. I'm shocked because these tragedies have been ongoing. Those who suffer from the tragedies, they're exponentially increasing. And, well, I'll speak for the people I know, Americans, they don't respond appropriately. There's like almost no response. Children are dying. They're being murdered. They're having their they're having their lives destroyed before they speak a word. And when you try to talk to people about this, there's, oh, um, so 
It's also shocking to me that Catherine Frobovich could write, below are some rather astounding plus frightening data sets that must be taken seriously by all government health agencies, especially Inspectors General of the United States Health and Human Services, CDC, FDA. You know, we're all on different pages. And um, there are still an awful lot who are still stuck in this matrix believing that we believing that we're still the United States of America when we're not, believing that our Congress and these federal agencies, they're there to protect us and they're not. They're there to kill us. You know, in another uh, section of this article, it was, they were talking about how, you know, the... Um, Congress needs to hear another report found that children have died from Infanrix. They've been damaged by this vaccine. So what is written in that report, the above apparent differences in scientific information and findings confirm absolute needs for independent studies to be undertaken on all vaccines by a special investigative team appointed by the U.S. Congress. Really? Because Congress, you know, they do. That's one of their duties, you know, oversight. But they don't, and they haven't for decades. And we know it, but we still go to them. And I, I keep thinking about that GoFundMe that the latest I heard, it was $17 million what, raised in a week for a wall when that wall has not even begun construction and it won't protect any Americans and it will not be the full 2,000 miles and how quick Americans will donate to something that won't protect them because what's inside that wall? Their government who's killing them. Why not put that 17 million towards, oh, that vaccine safety commission that Trump was barking about during his campaign? Remember? What happened to that? Trump appears to have abandoned that vaccine skeptic group denounced by scientists, of course. Um, or how about some policy on these vaccines? Nothing. Quiet. Zip. Oh, I hear crickets. Children are being destroyed. How many children have been harmed or killed by these vaccines since Trump has been in office? And, oh, I care so much about children. And we all care so much about children. But we're going to put 17 million towards a wall that's not going to protect any Americans because they're being killed off. Many who have donated will be dead before they even finish how many miles of the wall. Um, you know, I, I, I don't understand. But... This this is this is bio warfare, and so no, I'm not shocked. I'm, I'm I'm not. You know, could it have something to do with this recent advances in the molecular design of synthetic vaccines? Um, I don't know, but many people are posting videos, and this is vaccine gate, and this no, this has been ongoing. Why? Just because they came up with 65 compounds that they can't recognize? Think about those bio-warfare labs. I can't stand this. And when you know, you know, that 
we already have this is 2015 GlaxoSmithKline buried report linking vaccine to sudden deaths. Children were dying. What's the vaccine? Infanrix, Hexa. Infanrix, Hexa. 2015, an, an Italian court had unearthed a formally classified document that proves vaccines cause death. And that vaccine companies don't want you to know this, so they buried it. GlaxoSmithKline in Fanrix Hexa. And this is a combination vaccines, combination vaccines administered to children, known to cause sudden death. And these companies get away with it. Um, Parents, what the hell are you doing? People, the, the children were dying five days after the vaccination, or ten days, or like ten days after. Does it implicate the vaccine? Of course it does. GlaxoSmithKline is so corrupt and so unbelievably dangerous to the public. It has been for a very, very long time. What shocks me is that we, the people, are really just phenomenally ineffective in getting any of this stopped. You know, it's the same drug company that was fined $3 billion for promoting antidepressant drugs for off-label uses. There's so much. You know, this, this company has been sued, has been fined, um, and it continues. It exists. No problem. Um, many, look, in Fanrix vaccine kills, vaccine bombshell. Does this surprise me? Does it shock me to the core? Not at all. Not at all. Uh, proteins solubility and their digestion are two typical protein characteristics that not only make it possible to study them through some specific analysis methods, method, but are also fundamental for the interaction with the immune system to create protective antibodies. Because if the protein structure is heavily altered, from the original one, the new antibodies result completely different from those that are able to attack the original antibodies causing illness. So since this polymer, that's what they found a polymer, um, since this polymer we have encountered derived from the antigenic mix is not only different from its spatial conformation, but it's chemically different so we can state that we are not facing antigens similar to the original ones, but in the form of a compound with an unknown and unpredictable toxicity and efficacy. Are we surprised? Are we shocked to the core? No. No. None of the actives for the combination DTAP vaccine were found. None of the actives that was supposed to be protecting people against diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, hepatitis B, polio, um, and this child flu, were found. Now, is that shocking? Not to me. Not to me. Many of us have said if we can't get these agendas stopped, if we can't, you know, fight this evil, then life will become so meaningless, dark, and the evil you know, that spreads because good people sit around doing nothing. 
it will spread in a way that will be so shell-shocking, head-spinning, incomprehensible, and the suffering from that evil will just continue to increase exponentially. And for those of us who don't have that mechanism in our brain to delude ourselves or, or to, um, you know, choose willful ignorance or... This is what we will see over and over and over again. The evil that so many people choose to ignore, are afraid of, don't want to do anything about. Many of them become evil themselves based on their behavior when they refuse to do any research, refuse to um, grow up, become adults, take responsibility, do the research, protect their children, you know, um, act with some moral sense or something. When they don't, especially when it becomes so obvious and they still don't, you continue that behavior and you walk yourself right into becoming evil. You know, anybody who calls you an anti-vaxxer you really need to tell them to just get the hell away from you and that they have blood on their hands, that they are a dangerous human being. Dangerous to children. And if they're parents, they are a danger to their children. Now, there might be a few who really have had no one, no one um, talk to them about the dangers of vaccines. There might be a few left in the world. Then um, they vaccinate because they're so, you know, believing in that myth, doctor knows best, okay. But there are a few. And, you know, I'm sorry if this offends anybody, but look, We've lived this now, and children are being destroyed, and we know that we're at war, and, well, I'm afraid that this inappropriate response to tragedy that's taking place, it's just not okay with me. It's really not okay with me. Not when so many people have to suffer the consequences. So, yeah, there are so many, <laughs> this is 2016, Infantric, Infanrix again, uh, let's see, there's a lot of videos, vaccines are biological weapons, vaccines, bio-warfare, uh, biological warfare attack. No, I am not shocked to the core. We knew this was coming. Um, you can watch, uh, what is this movie? Contag contagion. Um, it's really, it, they put out all of these movies to scare the crap out of people. And people who are ignorant and people who don't know who they are, they are so easily manipulated and unfortunately manipulated in a direction that will destroy them. You know, you just watch two seconds or maybe two minutes of this. You had a seizure this morning, Beth. Is she the history of seizures? No, no, no. Allergies. No. As of last night, there were 32 cases. Unfortunately, she did die. Right. I said, can I go talk to her? Mr. Amoff, your wife is dead. What are you talking about? What happened to her? What happened to her? Is there any way someone could weaponize the bird flu? Is that what we're looking at? Someone doesn't have to weaponize the bird flu. The birds are doing that. Watch this. It's transmission. So we just need to know which direction. On day one, there were two people, and then four, and then 16. In three months, it's a billion. That's where we're headed. They're calling out the National Guard. They're moving the president underground. People will panic. 
Get away! It will tip over. The truth is being kept from the world. Cook your samples, destroy everything. All right, well, <laughs> you know, I posted a video a couple of months ago about the United States bio-warfare and um, how many labs do we have all over the country and we happen to have labs where these disease outbreaks occur, Ebola. I, there, look, there, there's just so much evidence that if this pandemic actually occurs here in the United States, oh, and you got that wall up, Okay, I did get a comment from a subscriber who said that wall is to keep you in when they set off the bio-warfare pandemic. Um, is that crazy? Absolutely not. But we really need to start thinking differently outside the box and think of every possibility, every possible scenario that can take place before we jump to donating, you know, and before we uh, give our support to people like Trump, sorry. Um, this another, here, remember experimental vaccines. GlaxoSmithKline, bacteria contaminated vaccines given to babies six years ago, 2012. So, you know, Merck, all right, it's not GlaxoSmithKline, but you know that, well, all of this crazy, all right, um, you know that we had that Operation Paperclip. We brought over the Nazi scientists. We gave them a new identity. We set them up in our universities, in our labs. And they, they are absolutely 100% part of our pharmaceutical industry today. But just Merck, the president, led biowarfare programs and experiments on Americans. During the middle of World War II, George W. Merck, president of pharmaceutical company Merck and Company, was in charge of the War Research Service, the Biological Warfare Division of the Federal Security Agency in the U.S. military. Merck secretly led the Biological Warfare Agency during the same years he was the president of Merck and Company. Uh, Biowarfare and pharmaceutical industry have very close ties. So Trump abandons the vaccine skeptic group. Trump bark, bark, bark. That vaccine safety commission. Vaccines, we have to uh, check whether or not they're safe. He, well, a lot of people voted for him based on that. Parents who who had their life destroyed because a vaccine um, gave their child autism. Voted for Trump. Heard that. Vaccine Safety Commission. Yes, please. Okay. Where is it? the wall. Everybody's focused on the wall. Get that wall up. When it's, if the wall actually got up, it's not going to be up for like probably another five years. It could take even longer because that wall will be um, constructed on private property. There are owners that very well may bring uh, a lawsuit against the wall going up on their property. We already saw that with the 654 miles that were constructed. Patches of that took seven years because of lawsuits. The wall! Get the wall up! How about screaming for a vaccine safety commission? No, not, not 
the scientists chosen by the US Congress, independent scientists, put that 17 million towards a panel of independent scientists who then, well, perhaps they would get media attention, bring down the CDC. What? Children are being killed. Okay, well, yeah, um, not even any vaccine policy, just hush, 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 crickets. And here, brilliant Trump revises vaccine schedule for his son. So Donald Trump and his wife, uh, they, they were able to vaccinate their son with a different schedule. Well, the rich can do that, right? The rich and powerful. But many parents, because of the mandates in the states where they live, they're mandated, they have to get their children vaccinated with a, an incredibly, um, a vaccine schedule that any parent should look at and say, I am not doing that. You know, how many vaccines, how many doses, um, well, they don't, but then parents that are not mandated, you get the pressure, you get the, the pressure from friends and family and, and your pediatrician and your schools um, now. Oh, they offer vaccine programs, schools. So uh, how do they counteract that pressure? They're maternal and paternal instinct. That's how they do it. But uh, Trump, why did he do that? Because he knows the schedule is destroying children and he didn't want his son, Barron, to be destroyed. So where is that vaccine safety commission? Trump, you claim that you love children so do we're Americans, but I, 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 you know, I hear a whole lot of screaming about that wall, but I don't hear a whole lot of screaming about protecting children from these vaccines or psychiatric medications. So um, here, this was back in 2007, and here he's publicly stating that. He believes that the rising prevalence of autism is related to vaccinations. When I was growing up, autism wasn't really a factor. Now, all of a sudden, it's epidemic. Everybody has their theory, my theory, and I studied it because I have young children. Well, guess what? Trump supporters and you guys who are still the, oh, you're an anti-vaxxer. Trump supporters, follow Trump. He actually studied it. He did the research, and he found that, well, there's a relationship there with the vaccines. So I am not going to allow my child to be vaccinated the way you guys have to vaccinate. I'm going to protect my son. So why don't you follow in his footsteps? You know, you don't need to be rich to do the research. You don't need to be re rich to just have common sense. And you certainly don't need to be rich to protect your child. And you know what? This uh, American dead response to horrific tragedies that are ongoing on a daily basis yeah, I do have a lot of people who, oh, calm down, and I'm, I'm this, and I'm that. No, I feel like my response is appropriate. I'm sorry. I don't like children being murdered, and I don't like parents not doing their job protecting their child. And it's very upsetting to me. You know, Trump, here, when a little baby that weighs 20 pounds and 30 pounds gets pumped with 10, 20 shots at one time, giant injection. I personally think that has something to do with it. Every parent should have that common sense. No, they don't. So, uh, 
Yeah, it's time. It's time to think about your responses to what's taking place. It's time to really um, recognize that this has been ongoing, ongoing, ongoing for decades. So it's it does not shock me to the core. Um, you know, it, it's it's only going to continue when we allow evil to do whatever the hell it wants to do. Well, at this point now, they don't care that we know anything. They do not care because they know how ignorant the public is and how ignorant the public wants to stay. They know they walk a low level of consciousness. They know that they only are interested in the latest and greatest cell phone, TV, their entertainment, um, a beer, sports, whatever. That's it. So what will shock me to the core forever is watching the absence of morality in this country all over the place. And yes, I know the frequencies and I know the poisons and I know this, but you know what? Americans have never been quite what they have claimed they were. I saw something wrong with this country a whole long time ago. And the country is made up of the people. So, yep, I'll link below. I'm sorry if I have upset anybody or offended anybody, but you know, we we consent. We have been consenting to you guys, you know, pharmaceutical industry, government officials, kill us off. I don't care. Take my money, destroy my house, destroy my children. The consent is very obvious too. I'll link below too. It all.